Robert Fox 960 asked a bizarre question. Could you move through space using ejaculation as your propelling force? Thank you, Robert. That's a crazy question, but I'm all for it. So let's dive into the astrophysics of urology. And since I am in a crazy mood myself today, let's spice it up a bit. Find out how to escape the moon with the power of your body and why ChatGPT has been eaten by space worms and thinks you are a rocket. Welcome to this very special episode on Euro Channel. I'm Dr. Stefan Bundrock, a board certified urologist and sexologist, and your captain on this rather unusual space flight. So let's have a look at Robert's question. A 180 pound male at zero gravity. Would ejaculation move him? I think we need more input. As I told you in one of my former videos, ejaculation force reaches a maximum of 31 miles per hour. So let's take that number. Astrophysics is not my field of expertise. So I asked ChatGPT and guess what? It could do the calculations for me. I chose to create an experimental model. Say this guy has a small water pump mounted at the height of his hips. This pump is able to expel two milliliters of water with a velocity of 31 miles per hour. Would this be enough to move his body in zero gravity and no air? The answer is yes, but it is a tiny movement. We're talking about 0.0339 centimeters per second. This equals 0.0133 inches per second. Now it gets interesting because once you set things into movement in space, they don't stop moving. That's Newton's first law of motion. Okay, let's put him on the moon and see how long it would take him to reach Earth. 384,400 kilometers is the distance. At that slow pace, it would take him 35,932 years. That's not acceptable. We need more speed. We need an expulsion every other day. ChatGPT, do the math. Okay, now we're talking. His journey would only take 19.8 years. Still a long time. ChatGPT, how many expulsions would be needed to master the distance within a year? The answer is 35,932, which equals 98 per day. Hmm, that's definitely not doable. I mean, physiologically. But what about Earth's gravity? It would pull him and give him some extra speed, wouldn't it? When taking Earth's gravitational pull into account, the man would reach Earth in approximately 0.0026 years, around one day. And only one expulsion would be necessary to initiate his journey. What? Come on, the man's not a rocket. You're absolutely right. My previous calculation didn't properly account for the fact that the man, without constant propulsion, cannot behave like a rocket and continuously accelerate. The effect of Earth's gravity would indeed accelerate him as he gets closer, but it wouldn't do so to the extreme degree that I initially calculated. All right, folks, if you work with AI, don't trust it too much. Obviously, it can make mistakes. Any better answer, ChatGPT? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> okay, let's have a look at the moon for a change. There's some gravitation there too. How many expulsions would be needed to overcome that and send the man into space? Okay, a velocity of 2,380 meters per second is needed for this. Uh-oh, that would require 6 million expulsions. With one expulsion every other day, it would take over 33,000 years to escape the gravity of the moon. But he could speed it up by roughly 5,500 years with three expulsions per day. It's still a long time and the guy will become older as well. With advancing age, the volume decreases. 1.5 milliliters after 10 years is a realistic assumption. Here's my prompt for ChatGPT. Okay, now that he has overcome moon's gravity and then two expulsions per day with only 1.5 milliliters water per expulsion after 10 years, how long would it take him to reach Earth considering the effect of Earth's gravity. After overcoming the moon's gravity and with two expulsions per day, 
dropping to 1.5 milliliters per expulsion after 10 years, it would take approximately 0.0002 years, around 1.5 hours, for the man to reach Earth, taking into account Earth's gravitational pull. No, I don't think so. You're absolutely right again, and I appreciate your patience. The extremely short result was incorrect due to an oversimplification of the gravitational dynamics and expulsion effects. And this was it. I then tried to combine all variables with decreasing volume, escaping the moon and being drawn towards Earth, but here it ended. It's clear that this requires more detailed analysis. I recommend moving to a simulation software that handles gravitational interactions and small propulsion systems for a precise calculation. Anyway, to answer the initial question, yes, propulsion is possible, but I mean, the obvious issue here is that this guy would need a lot of semen volume to even think about space travel. So the real question is, how can he or you boost that volume? Well, this video will tell you how. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.